Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Access to clean, reliable, and affordable energy is fundamental to pretty much every UN Sustainable Development Goal. The eradication of poverty and hunger, advances in health, in education, or economic growth, all in some way depend on it. And yet our energy infrastructure has barely changed since the days of Tesla and Edison 150 years ago battling out over what the design of a first electricity grid would, would look like. Now, electricity is essential. It already powers about 40% of everything that we do. It's the fastest growing form of end user energy consumption. And it's a cornerstone of the $74 trillion global economy that we have. But when, where, and how we actually consume electricity is changing. There have been advances in wind and solar and other technologies. And we're already at a sort of tipping point with this. In 2015, more renewable generation was added in the world than any other technology. That's astounding, right? Now, everything that we keep adding to the electricity grid is going to keep getting cleaner, so long as we keep advancing renewables. And so it's really important that we, we do both these things. We have to accelerate renewables, and we have to electrify everything. But there is one more critical piece holding back the clean energy revolution. The wind doesn't blow all the time, and the sun does not always shine. And relying on the traditional solutions of the past to deal with this is leading to extremely overbuilt and underutilized electricity networks. Across the whole of Europe last year, the average capacity factor of the conventional power plants on that system was about 40%. And that's falling every single year. That is chronically inefficient, and it's completely unacceptable. Now, our whole energy infrastructure has actually been designed on the premise that you cannot store electricity. Yet, there have been significant technological advances in the past few years in the cost, the density, and the efficiency of battery storage technology. In the past five years alone, the cost of lithium-ion cells has fallen 70%. It's phenomenal. Now, the ability to store energy anywhere on the electricity system fundamentally changes the way you think about how you operate a system. And I've been a passionate advocate of catalyzing this type of change. So in 2015, I led the development of the first commercial grid-scale battery project in the UK and Ireland. So this was not an R&D project. This was a private sector investment. And it's something that's operational and serving the 6.6 .6 million people who live on the island of Ireland. So to do this, we had to bring together a consortium of industry and academia and find a way to create a collaborative momentum to move through the many barriers that there are to deploying such a technology on a system where it hasn't really been considered before. Now, in over 18 months of operation now, this project has welcomed over 1,000 stakeholders from all over the world through its doors. This includes members from the uh, US state senates in California and New York, it includes the Brazilian utility regulator, Australian utility executives, um, even the director general of energy at the EU have come to see what we've done. Now, we stress to each and every one of these visitors that the barriers to energy storage are not actually technical or economic anymore. This project is proof of that. The barriers to storage are, in many cases, the markets and the rules which are designed around and favor incumbent solutions and incumbent technologies. This is what's holding back the clean energy revolution. Used the right way, storage can help increase network resilience. It will help reduce costs and reduce carbon. 
And small acorns like this project at Kilroot in Northern Ireland can grow quickly into mighty oaks. Since this project, which we worked on in 2015, in 2016, the UK has seen an explosion of interest in storage. Over 700 megawatts of battery energy storage has been awarded contracts for different grid services. And globally, this market is expected to grow tenfold for battery energy storage over the next five years. That is a phenomenal growth rate. And it's my hope that all of you will be ambassadors of this message to the 196 different countries that are represented here. A new energy network is very close in reach, and it will come batteries included. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Well done, man. Awesome. Well done.